In the 1950s, a single mother called Brownie Wise started working for the Tupperware company, selling plastic containers for food storage. Brownie Wise came up with a revolutionary idea. Her idea was to get a range of people to host Tupperware parties for their friends, relatives, neighbours and work colleagues. People go to these parties and are shown a range of Tupperware products. The host gets a cut of all the sales sold by the representative at the party. Everyone going to the party knows that. They know that their friend is going to get some money if they buy something from the representative. So they're kind of not only buying something for themselves, they're also buying something from and for the host, who is their friend. Not only that, their friend has arranged for the party and spent money on food and time organising it. So there's an obligation through reciprocation there too. This was such a successful strategy that the Tupperware company now sells several millions of dollars of product per day through their 1.9 million direct salespeople. There's actually a Tupperware party every 2.3 seconds around the world. And the word Tupperware is often used as a generic label for plastic containers. Cialdini found that our friendships and interpersonal liking can be a strong influence on how much we are persuaded. The idea is that we should be more willing to comply with requests of friends or other liked individuals. Tupperware sales depend on these social factors that persuade us at an interpersonal level. Outside of our friendship network, there are also people trying to persuade us who are not our friends. Luckily, for them at least, liking can also be generated in other ways and used to persuade us. Physical attractiveness is one way of creating liking, and we generally see physically attractive people as being more talented, more kind, honest and intelligent. Attractive people can be more persuasive at changing attitudes, and also in getting our agreement with requests. Similarity between ourselves and others also produces liking. We like those who are similar to us. Some sales training programs urge trainees to mirror and match the customer's body posture, mood, verbal style and so on because this can lead to greater persuasion. Similarity in dress also increases liking and persuasion. Cooperation can also create positive feelings similar to liking. This is partly why when the car dealer goes into battle with the manager of the car yard on your behalf, you're more likely to buy the car. Giving someone a compliment before asking them to do something can increase your chances because compliments can also create liking. This is the case even if we know the compliments are untrue and we know that the praiser stands to gain something by complimenting us. And while I remember, have I told you yet how intelligent and good looking you must be if you're taking this course? Clearly you're very perceptive and smart. Before I forget, would you be willing to write a positive review of this course? It would really help get the word out to as many people as possible.